Do you want to use gesture navigation with third-party launchers and a horizontal recent app screen on the F4 GT or really any recent Poco device like the F3? Let's start with the new POCO launcher version that you'll need to download and install. There's a link in the description, but you can skip this step if the horizontal recent apps option is already available on your POCO device. To enable this feature, long press a blank part of the home screen, then select settings, more, arrange items in recents, and horizontally. Next, we need to download these apps, a third-party launcher like Nova or Hyperion, the Full Screen Gestures app, InCleaner, and Launcher's QuickTile, which isn't totally necessary, but it can speed up troubleshooting if you're having issues. While Poco Launcher is still set as your default, let's go into System Settings, Additional Settings, and Full Screen Display, then switch to Full Screen Gestures. And I'm gonna hide the full screen indicator because it's ugly and pointless. Now open up the Full Screen Gestures app and grant the necessary permissions. Then for the left and right edges, set the swipe action to back, swipe far to none, sensitivity to one fourth on the slider, and max out the size. For the bottom edge, I set all three swipes to home, and all swipe fars to recent, since that's how many of the other UIs set up their gestures. Again, one fourth on the trigger bar sensitivity slider, but the swipe far threshold needs to be set as low as possible. Of course, adjust any of these settings to better fit how you use your device. But these work well for me on the F4GT and Pogo F3. Now let's make sure that MIUI doesn't kill the full screen gestures app, by going into its app info, turning on auto start, then battery saver needs to be set to no restrictions, and also allow it to work in full screen mode, since that kind of makes sense. Now once you close out the full screen gestures app, it might not work, and when you open it again, the accessibility service permission has probably been disabled, so go back through and enable it again. And now gestures should work even if the app is closed. You might have to repeat this process once more after rebooting your phone the first time. You also might want to go ahead and just reboot your phone now. The only other adjustment I had to make was to change the height of Gboard by hitting this setting wheel, then go into preferences, and selecting the mid-tall height from the keyboard height menu. This helped me prevent missed key presses due to the full screen gestures app. If you're enjoying this video so far, please tap that like button and thank you. Now that the gestures are working, let's go ahead and switch launchers. I'm gonna use Hyperion for now since it's my favorite launcher. And I'm using the paid version so I can enable double tap gestures, but the free version of both Hyperion, Nova, and Microsoft launcher all worked fine when I tested. And no, Hyperion didn't sponsor this video, but that would have been great. Now let's reassign our system launcher to Hyperion by going to settings, home screen, and default launcher. You probably just saw three button navigation pop up. No problem, since the full screen gestures app should still be running. But let's go back to device settings, additional settings, full screen display, and switch back to full screen gestures. When you go to use gestures, you'll find that they appear not to be working. But once you go back to the main settings menu, gestures function normally again. This seems like a limitation from MIUI to prevent you from being unable to navigate your phone. And it's popped up in a few different settings menus, but only in the settings menus. So it doesn't affect my normal daily use. One other issue is this persistent full screen gestures notification. Let's get rid of that with InCleaner. Enable its notification access, then go into ongoing notification hider, and select full screen gestures is displaying over other apps. Then hit this three dot menu, go to settings, hit the three dot menu again, then batch operation, unblock all, then just scroll down and check full screen gestures so that we don't block any other notifications we might wanna see. Now that notification is gone. And if for some reason the notification from InCleaner itself won't go away, then just hide that notification the easy way. Occasionally in the morning, after the phone has been in deep sleep, full screen gestures will not be running after I first pick up the Poco. But if I lock and unlock the phone or just give it about 30 seconds, everything starts behaving normally. If that's a deal breaker for you, you could always use Launcher's Quick Tile to be able to hop into Poco Launcher in a morning emergency. Then return to a third-party launcher after. If you're looking to buy a Poco F4 GT or an F3, I suggest checking Wireless Place. Link in the description with my coupon code. This particular icon right here is for Kiwi Browser. And if you want to know why it's the best Android browser, you should watch this video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will answer them perfectly and creatively.